For as long as I can remember, I've always known what I wanted to do with my life. The fact, however, is knowing what you want to do with your life, in my case, meant it changed time and time and time again. When I was young, fighter pilot was the only job in the entire world for me. As I became a freshman in high school, I was certain that being a lawyer was the career path set for me. As I progressed in high school, I decided that being in the law enforcement field was obviously the best thing for my future. And after consideration and deep contemplation, I knew for a fact that I wanted to be a pharmacist. And here I am, my name is Andy Becker, and I'm on my second school and my fifth major in as many years. I came to UW-Whitewater nearly three and a half years ago, and now I'm in my fifth year and about to graduate with a degree in electronic media communications. My love for electronic media started the second semester of my sophomore year of college when I transferred out of Concordia University, Wisconsin and into UW-Whitewater. Since I had already had four majors, I was advised to take a little slice of everything that might pique my interest while selecting classes for that semester. So I took philosophy, economics, physics, along with fundamentals of video production. Jim Mead, who would go on to become the director of cable operations here at UW-Whitewater, was the instructor for the fundamentals of video production class. And from the first day that we got to try out some of the new equipment, I fell in love. In that same year, I was approached and asked to direct a show called Issues and Ideas with another student whom I would become quick and close friends with. From that experience, I learned the finer points of directing, producing, and editing all on the fly. And after taking a few other TV-related classes that allowed me to broaden my horizons, I began working at the UWW TV station as the student assistant director, where I took the people I knew from class and made some of them my colleagues and friends. Now as I inch closer to my graduation from college and beginning to dread leaving this place and entering the real world, I realized that many of the entry-level positions are in the television news field. In the state of Wisconsin, you have WTMJ in Milwaukee, WMOW in Wausau, WLAX Lacrosse, WPNE, WITI, WVTV, WISN, WSAW, WHRN, WEAU, WXOW, and at least 20 more. So with all of these stations in the area, there should be no problem finding a job in the television field, right? Wrong. Unless you're extremely lucky, you have to start at some small market station at the lowest level and work your way to the top. Brad Ford was a very large part of UWW-TV in his short time here. When I was at UWW-TV, I started out just being uh, more in front of the camera. I mean, I started with reporting practicum and then did some desk work. So I did a lot in front of the camera. And later on, I started doing uh, behind the camera things, uh, shooting a lot of B-roll, going out in the field, getting a lot of experience, and also producing uh, the first season of Wake Up Whitewater. After working for WREX in Rockford, Illinois, Brad moved to the much larger market in Milwaukee. Brad knows that without UWWTV, he would most likely never have landed that first job in the first place. Really, UW Whitewater is setting the groundwork. You leave and you know what's expected of you, but then when you get to the real world, you need to do it at a 10 times faster pace. So you're still doing the same responsibilities, but you're not sharing them with anybody. It's all on you. So it goes from being a team effort to being a one-person act. You gotta take what are my skill points, what am I good at, and go after it in a realistic area. Another former student is Jonathan Kelly, who also spent plenty of time working here at UW-Whitewater as a student around the television studio. I came into it with sort of a pre built-in set of skills. Um, and honestly, when I started, I figured it would just be an easy way for me to get a degree. And what I learned in my time at UWW-TV is that I didn't know as much as I thought I knew. UWW-TV does not just get students ready for a career in television, but also lets them express their creative sides as well. Each semester, Jim Mead instructs a directing and producing practicum and gives students the option to produce their very own show. There are some shows that were produced years ago that I still continue to run today. A um, uh, uh, very good student and, and a still a good friend of mine, John Kelly, produced uh, Newsroom and the WBA awarded that uh, uh, a nomination uh, several years ago. It was a half hour show that he had produced on his own uh, for the first semester and he's he's a very good storyteller and it only got better as the uh, 
as the series of shows went on. So Newsroom I, is a show that I like to run a lot. And the other good thing is there was a lot of local students from that era that were here at the same time, and they put on some really good performances. Most of it was ad lib and, and very creative. And then we, we have some other interesting programs. It's not always about the storytelling and whatnot, too. Uh, something is just as simple as No More Ramen, which was a very unique uh, program as well. Um, Andy Becker is uh, kind of an amateur chef, but he came up with some really unique ideas uh, for menu options for students on a tight budget. That is a show that I think could actually be very informative and helpful to students at this day and age.